Hey everybody, it is Jeff Douglas, Dr. of Physical Therapy, Certified Athletic Trainer, and owner of The Defensive Doctor, helping you fight off chronic diseases and live a pain-free life. And today we have another kettlebell workout that we're gonna do from home. We are gonna add a band, loop band that we need today. And I just have a slide board that we're gonna use for bird dogs to put our back as a lie detector. But if you have a valid slide board, board of um, the phone, a yoga block, that would work perfectly fine. All right, so what we are going to do is we're gonna start with some kickstands, all right? So for the kickstands, we are just going to grab a kettlebell and get in the kickstand position. So I'm gonna grab a light kettlebell here and the kickstand position is gonna look at this from the side, all right? So we're gonna go one foot forward, one foot back, we're going to hinge, so push your butt back, feel the tension in this glute. I have about 98% of my weight on this front leg and we're picking up the kickstand like on a bike and send it down, get your balance. Pick it up, set it down, get your balance. Pick it up, set it down, all right? If this weight is too much for you, then you just go body weight, all right? You don't have to do weight with this, but we're just getting the hips fired up, we're just getting warmed up, and we're gonna do 14 taps on this side, all right? And then you're going to switch and do 14 on your other side, all right? So it'll be 14 and 14, switch, go and do your 14. It's nice and slow, it's not quick and pick up here, which is a good pace. You, know, you should feel that hip in the front have a good burn. If you're not feeling the hip, you're either doing a poor job hinging or you're letting that knee go too far forward and we're putting the stress in the knee versus making it a hip dom dominant motion, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 14, 14, switch, 14 and 14, and you'll be done with that exercise. Then go ahead and take it down to the floor. Come to the floor, we're gonna get in the bird dog position. So we're quadruped position. Hands are gonna be right under your shoulders. Knees are right under your hips. Get your back in a nice, what we so-called neutral position, but we know there's really not a neutral position. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're going to kick opposite leg, opposite arm forward. All right, like that. Take your lie detector, put it on your back, because when you do this exercise, we are trying to dissociate our shoulder motion and our hip motion so that separately, so they're not uh, moving it with the low back. So the low back should stay locked in still, and the hips and the shoulders should be able to move separately. People that struggle with low back pain, a lot of times they can't dissociate their hip uh, motions um, from their low back motion. So when they try to extend their hip, they extend their back, and it's just repetitive motion there that over time can put stress on that back. So here, I'm pushing my stomach out, light brace there in the stomach, and I'm trying to punch it, and then opposite, make a strong fist, lead with the heel, don't point the toe, lead with the heel, and it's straight back, it's not up, it's back. Hold it for a count of one, two, three, in, and back out, one, two, three. Be strong with the shoulder that's on the ground, I don't want to see you droopy. Push away from the earth, okay? You want to do eight three-second holds on both sides. If you are doing a poor job, and I'm saying I'm moving my back, and I'm doing this, you'll feel your lie detector move, and it might even fall, all right? Especially with a yoga block, you'll feel it better with that, okay? So I'm gonna do my eight, and then I would just switch and do eight with my opposite side. So a little bit left hand going out, right leg kicking back for the bird dog. All right, and then we are two thirds of the way through our warm up. Take the band, slide it over, put it above our knees. Again, just warming the hips up, butt back, okay? And all we're gonna do in this position is we're just going to get the feet grounded. Okay, I don't want to see you roll on your ankles and the outside of your ankles. Get the feet grounded and just little light pulses with your hips. A little hip external rotation here. Maybe you call it a little bit abduction. Okay, side view. Keep going. We're just gonna do 25 of these. Okay. And once you get to 25, you should be feeling a great burn in the gluteus maximus and these external rotator muscles there in our hips. Alright. And hit 25. And you just go, whoo! And you always know you have a good burn or a good booty workout when you want to smack it 
after, all right? So, now you are warmed up. You did your kickstands, you did your bird dog, and then you did your resistance external rotation. Your fits are feeling good. Let's get into the strength development of this program. So, you're going to do a single arm clean with a kettlebell into a squat, all right? With a two by two pace. So lower for two, hold for two at the bottom, and then we're going up with, with one second. So take the kettlebell, one, one kettlebell. Again, it's a clean. All right, so we do a clean, it's just a hike. Get a good hinge, fire the hips through, keep it close to us, and fire it up, all right? And get into the rack position. So here we go. We're going to go hike, clean it, it's rack. Okay, now we're doing two by two. Gripping the ground with the feet, keeping my knees away from each other, and down for one one thousand, two one thousand, hold one one thousand, two one thousand, up, and back down, one one thousand, two one thousand, hold one one thousand, two one thousand, up, two, down one one thousand, two one thousand, hold one, two, up, That's three, and down one, two. Hold, one, two, and up, and that's four. Now switch, swing, alternate, swing, and clean. We're up in our rack position. Again, four, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, and then hold for one, one, two, one, up. That's one, and down, one, two, one, two, and up, two, and down, one, two, one. Two, that's three, and down, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, one, two, and up, and that is a set, don't drop it, bring it here, two hands, bring it up, now we got some curls, two seconds down, keep the elbows tight, shoulders are back and down, near the lower, one, two, up, and down, one, two, Two, down, two, up, three, down, two, up, four, down, up, five, down, six, keep that good two second count going, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, seven, eight, two, one, Nine and ten. Let's go two more here. One, two, eleven, and down, twelve. Okay, and that right there would be one round of that superset. So we have four squats, four squats, twelve curls. Okay, make sure you don't forget about the tempo. Three rounds of those. Okay, then. We're going into our next superset. We're going to do a staggered deadlift and calf raise. So, grab your belt. Move a little heavier on this. We're only going for five reps, so we can go heavier on the deadlift. Staggered means is I'm alternating my feet, okay? It's like this. Like normally deadlift, we have it right under us. We're going staggered, so it's almost like a single leg deadlift. More emphasis on that front leg. Staggered. Right next to the foot. Push the hips back, feel the hinge, feel the tension in that glute, that forward, right leg forward for me right now. Right glute's tense. Come down. Don't want to sit knee creep forward. Keep it back. Shoulders pack back. Breath in. And up. One. Go down and tap. Two. Go down and tap. Three. Go down and tap. Control. Four. You should feel it all in the hands all in the glutes on that side that's forward. And that's five. Switch sides, let's give you a little side view here. Switch foot, and that kettlebell up, butt back. Here we go. Up, one, tap, two, hinge, three, hinge, four. Get ready back, drive it in there, and five. Set it down, shake it out. Okay, two ways you can do this, okay? Now when we did our five there, now we're gonna go into our second part of the superset, the cat raise. We take a dumbbell, goblet it, hold it, hold it down here. We take two kettlebells, hold them off to the side, okay? 
I'm just gonna take this, hold it here, and we're gonna go cat races. Up on your toes, and down. Up, with a good hold, one more thousand, and down. Up, three, four, and five, halfway there. Six, make sure you're pushing through your big toe. Seven, I don't want to see you going out on the edges of your feet, on the lateral side. Eight, nine, and 10. Like I said, folks, you could go here, the two of them, okay? And if you have a step nearby, it would be better if you go on a step so you can let your ankle drop down below the step. And that's gonna work your full range of motion of your ankle. If we do it on the ground, we don't get that full range of motion, which is better than nothing if we were doing it on the ground. But ideally, if you have a step, use that so it can put the balls of your feet on it, okay? And now we're ending the day. So you go three rounds. So three by five deadlifts, okay? So do five, five to 10 calf raises. Go back, five, five, 10, five, five, and 10. So three rounds of those two. And we're ending the day with staggered kettlebell swings. Five and five on the minute, every minute for six minutes. So what does that mean? We just offset it a little bit, okay? So your normal swing feet are even. We're just gonna offset it. Nothing's really different. You just gonna make sure you keep that shoulder square. And just here. And you're just gonna feel tension more on one side. So when we do a good normal swing, you feel an even tension. This is gonna be on the side that the legs forward, okay? So the five, your arm's probably not gonna come out as far either, right? I keep it in a little bit more when I'm doing this. All right, so it's gonna be five. And then you're gonna switch. Five, set it down, rest. And the next minute hits, you're gonna go again. So we'll just do the first minute here. All right, so here we go, staggered. I'm gonna start my right leg forward, left hand, like it. Feel that tension, my right leg. Three, four, five. Now you're gonna switch. And fire the hip, one, two. Hip pinch back, three. Feel the hamstring of that leg that's in front. And five, and set it down. Shake it out. Okay, your timer will be going. Probably took about 15, 20 seconds here to do that. Okay, you're gonna wait until the next minute. So when your timer hits one minute now, you're gonna go again. I'm just gonna quick show you a side view. Okay, so let's say the minute's up. Okay, 58, 59, 60 seconds. Here we go. Hinge, hinge, three, four. Five, switch. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. That would be round two done. Okay, we wait till clock hit two minutes. Start again until you got your six rounds. And that is today's workout. I hope you enjoy. Please leave comments, questions below, and I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information useful or helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Just drag that mouse right over to the red box, click it so that you're notified the next time that I post a video. Again, thank you so much.